Hi, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be making another wooden animal, this time a dash hound. I'm going to take through the whole process of how I design it, why I do things the way I do, and then onto the bandsaw and we'll cut it out. Right, to start off with, I'm going to roughly work out where the edges of my piece of timber will be. Um, for the UK, this will be around about 70 mil, and for those on the other side of the pond, it's about two and three quarter inches. Um, I then roughly give myself a baseline where I'm going to cut off my wood and then the next thing I like to do is I like to tilt the whole animal back. So if you think the shape of a dog, you've got a back, you then got a chest, comes up towards the back of the dog, you've got the rear leg, comes down, oh, a bit straighter than that, then the front leg, there's baseline, elbow, Obviously, then a really deep chested animal there. So basically, because when you look at the front, the chest is deeper than the than the back end of the dog or any animal, um, this distance here needs to be less than this distance here. Now, if I was to cut this at this angle, like the reindeer that did, then obviously the gap, this height here and this height here, ends up being the same, which means you end up with this back leg droop, or if I cut for this, then I end up cutting inside the chest. So to try and get around that, what I do is I like to tilt the whole animal back. So let's set myself a new baseline. So roughly around about there. Therefore now I'm going to have back of my dog will roughly be probably around about there. Give myself a chest. Dash hand's quite low to the ground. Front leg. Short front leg. A little angle in there. And when I'm working on these, I might you know, refine them two or three times. So you might see a couple more of these before I come up with a final design. Back leg, a little short back leg there to the ankle. Coming down more like that. And I've got to be able to cut this with a bandsaw. Actually, I'm going to cut that round about there. Then I've got a neck. This is going to be my thinnest point here because obviously the blade is going to be running through this like this. So therefore this is my thinnest point here and just above that I'm going to put my ear. When I then cut the nose I'm going to have to cut in and the feet will be on the ground so therefore I'm going to be perpendicular to this line here. So this is roughly where my ear line will be. I'm going to give it quite big ears. It's never going to be a natural dash hand literally but... And then nose going down to neck. Tail can be no higher than this point here because obviously if I go above this then I'm going to have a really wide tail. So just lightly sketch in a tail, quite a short tail. Okay. Now I've got a rough idea. I'm not quite happy with this rear end. Uh, I quite like the chest, I like the head, so I'm going to redraw it again. Here I've got a bit of dead wood here, so therefore I could probably elongate the body and make it even more dash hound like. Elongate the body a bit more, so let's try for a third one. As long as this is where the narrowest point is, again squared paper makes this really nice and easy. I'm going to come out, this has got to be my widest point here. And then I'm going to come back in, but I'm going to try and once I get to this chest level, which is here, I'm going to come around quite, quite wide and then almost, these are not quite parallel because obviously when I cut this here, my front foot is going to be this width and when I cut back here, my back foot is going to be wider. So I don't want to taper this too much, although I'm going to end up with two really, really narrow back feet. So when I get to here, I'm going to try and like almost bring it around like that. And then for the head, tip of the nose is going to be up here. So take literally I'm going to do a flat spot at the top so I might give it a slight now I might bring that in a bit more yeah. I've got a rough idea of how this is going to look and what shape I'm going to have to cut so I'm going to trace this out go over to the bandsaw cut a rough one
so here we are uh, I think one of the problems we've got here is this is too wide so in my design I'm going to try and cut down these ears a bit more I've got a little bit of here so therefore the head this bit needs to become further forward biggest mistake was this notch here and this is because I didn't line up the cut on the ear with the side sorry the cut on the pro front face with the side face so I'm going to try and adjust this area here make this line a little bit more equal there's my high front leg low back leg bit, bit fat on the front leg so I'm going to try and also slim it down right back to the drawing again okay so I spent a bit of time now refining my design what I've done here is I've moved the head slightly this way which means that the this cut here will clear so when, I, this, is, when this is on the bandsaw level this perpendicular cut here will clear the chest and I won't get those two grooves I've made the body, the body a bit narrower I've tried to get this as one big cut made the front leg a little bit shorter they tend to have quite short legs whether I keep the tail this length or make it a little bit shorter I'm not sure so what I'll do now is I'm going to cut this out I'm going to stick it onto a block of wood and then head over to the bandsaw and I'll show you the final cuts There she is, the dash hound. I think it's quite dash hound like. I like the tail, rear legs slightly higher than the front legs. That's exactly what I was looking for. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more videos from Kingston Lane Workshop. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, welcome back to workshop. Today I'm going to be making another one of the little wooden animals, this time a dash hound. Hi, well, hi, welcome back. Hello? No. Yes, sorry, I forget, yeah, I'll do that now, I'll do that now. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye.